is Blender crashing a lot on you lately? Fear no more, it's Sam from 3D here. On this video I'll explain the main reasons that causes Blender to crash. Before we start, don't forget you can try to recover your files by clicking on File, Recover and selecting Last Session or Auto Save. Always save your projects though. Hardware limitation. The first one is more of a hardware problem. Blender is a lightweight program. But 3D work is not light work, it requires a beefy machine, especially for complex scenes with plenty of geometry and textures. If you have a moderate gaming computer you should be fine. But running Blender for 3D work on grandma's laptop from 20 years ago might not be the best experience. Try simpler models, low poly and stylized models in case you're stuck with a lower end PC. Keep poly count low when possible and avoid textures higher than 2K unless 100% necessary with close-up shots. You might need a higher resolution of textures. And be careful with the subdivision modifier, it can add a lot of geometry. You can also try to turn on simplify on the render properties and see if that helps out, this option will limit the subdivision modifier levels, as well as texture size. Scene optimization. If you're just starting out, you probably don't know how to correctly manage your scene. What should be visible, what shouldn't, poly count for different models and so on. This you'll gain with experience. But as a rule of thumb, the smaller an object is, the less definition it needs. So less polygons. Lower texture resolutions. This also applies to objects that are far away from the camera. If you have a high-end computer or laptop, you probably won't feel this a lot, since your computer will power through it. But you should be mindful of this to keep your work clean. And also because you might need that extra power for even bigger projects. You can see how much resources your scene is eating on this corner here. Old software. When was the last time you updated your GPU drivers or Blender? If it has been a while, you should go ahead and update both. If you want to be on the complete safe side of Blender, update to the stable or LTS version. LTS meaning long-term support. Avoid using alpha or beta versions of the software. Those who crash a lot because they are not production ready. I'm usually running the latest stable video driver and the latest stable version of Blender. I don't like the LTS because I think it's too old for me, but it is a safe bet nonetheless. No more VRAM or RAM. VRAM is the video memory of your computer. If you run out of video memory, Blender could crash. This goes back to the scene optimization thing. If you're having crashes when rendering, lack of VRAM or RAM could be a reason. You can try to lower your render resolution, change the amount of samples, and close other programs that might be using your GPU or a lot of your RAM. I don't game while you render. Use your task manager to see what's munching on your resources other than Blender. Bad add-ons. Blender is well known for its add-ons, but sometimes you might get a beta version of an add-on, or a very old one that was not designed to work in Blender 2.8 up, or the other way around, and that can cause problems. If you're having crashes when using an add-on, try to get a new version of it, or report that crash to the developer of the add-on. This is mainly for add-ons you find online. The ones bundled with Blender rarely causes problems, or are outdated. Hopefully these tips will help you to keep your blender running for longer and with fewer crashes. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button to feed the algorithm and see others like it. If you want to rant about blender crashing and be around like-minded people, enter our discord in the description down below. Tell us in the comments the worst crash you ever had and what videos should we do next. Bye!